Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations root a plus root b is equal to 14 and root a plus b is equal to 10. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So, let us start. Let us call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1 root a plus root b is equal to 14. We move this uh, root b to the right hand side. So, this will become root a is equal to 14 minus root b. Now, we take square of both sides. At right hand side, we take square. So, this uh, square will be considered out with this uh, square root and at left hand side we are left with this a is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This uh, 14 minus root b whole squared will become 14 squared minus 2 times 14 times root b plus root b squared. Now, this square will be considered with this square root and this equation will become a is equal to 14 squared is 196 minus 2 times 14 28 times root b plus here we are left with b. Let us call this equation equation 3. Now, from equation 2, equation 2 is root a plus b is equal to 10. And we take square of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, a plus b is equal to 10 squared is uh, 100. Now, in this equation we replace this a with this value of a 196 minus 28 times root b plus b from equation 3. So, this will become 196 minus 28 times root b plus b and in the last we write this plus b plus b is equal to 100. Next 196 minus 28 times root b plus 1 b plus 1 b will become 2 times b is equal to 100. Now, we subtract 100 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and 196 minus 100 will become 96 minus 28 times root b plus 2 times b is equal to 0. Now, we divide both sides of this equation by 2. So, 96 divided by 2 will become 48 minus 28 divided by 2 14 times root b plus 2b divided by 2b is equal to 0. Now, we rearrange these terms. We write this b first. B then we write this negative 14 times b, negative 14 times root b plus this 48 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that uh, this uh, root b, let root b is equal to x and if we square both sides, this implies that uh, b is equal to x squared. 
now we replace this b with this x squared we replace this uh, root b with this x so this equation will become x squared minus 14 times x plus uh, 48 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable we write this x squared x squared we break this uh, negative 14 x into negative 8 times x minus 6 times x plus 48 is equal to 0 now from these two terms uh, we can factor out x and in bracket left uh, x minus 8 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 6 in bracket left uh, x minus 8 is equal to 0 and as you can see this expression x minus 8 is a common factor so we factor out this x minus 8 and, uh, in bracket left uh, this x this negative 6 in bracket left uh, x minus 6 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x minus 8 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 6 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of x is equal to 8 and from this equation we get the value of x is equal to 6 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, root b is equal to x we have supposed that uh, root b is equal to x so when x is equal to 8 then this equation will become root b is equal to 8 and we square both sides So this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and we get the value of b is equal to square of 8 is uh, 64. Now when x is equal to 6 then this equation will become root b is equal to 6. We square both sides. So this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and we get the value of b is equal to 6 squared is 36 now to find the values of a we recall that we recall this equation a plus b is equal to 100 we recall that a plus b is equal to 100 a plus b is equal to 100 first in this equation we replace this b with this value 64 so this will become a plus 64 is equal to 100 move this 64 to the right hand side this will become a is equal to 100 minus 64 and a will be equal to 100 minus 64 will become 36 so when a is equal to 36 then b will be 64 now in this equation we replace this b with this 36 so this will become a plus 36 is equal to 100 move this 36 to the right hand side this will become a is equal to 100 minus 36 and a will be equal to 100 minus 36 will become 64 so when a is equal to 64 then b will be equal to 36 means uh, we get uh, two pairs of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is uh, 36 comma 64 and the second pair is uh, 64 comma 36 this is the final answer of this problem